Hello, welcome to the Friday stream. Hope you guys are doing all right. I see Uma, Levi, Rubicant. Yeah, I, my second monitor refused to let itself be turned on. I had to switch the power cable and like there must be some sort of weird thing going on in there. I might have to actually switch it out entirely. Um, I've been thinking about going for an ultra-wide monitor. There's some really cool ultra-wide monitors out there, and some of them are broad enough that I could basically have the recording window in one part, and then the game in the middle, and then the chat on the right or something like that. That could be really cool. Hey, Helvo. Soon is here, Silas. How are you doing, guys? And... Uma says, Abitur is over, my gaming life can start now. Congratulations! <laughs> Man, I can still remember when I had my Abitur. <laughs> A long time, long time ago. When the Earth was still flat. Yeah, we'll play more Battle Brothers. It's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Do I have to change the capture? I don't. Very good. Alrighty, I've been playing around a little bit. I actually found a really, really nice map. Been going through map repositories, so this could probably be our next Iron Man map. I really like it. It has all the three factions that I like. The Suns, the Lions, and the Dragons. So that's pretty good. It has good ports. All that kind of stuff is really, really nice. Um, yeah, we'll get out of here and we'll jump into our other game. Are we over here? End of stream 15. The guy says, what is W2? Like high school or college? Um, it's the end of a higher school education. You we want the seat? Um, I have it in the save name. So it's 2A and then 80. Two A eight zero. Should do it. Okay, if I remember correctly, we left off close to a mercenary regiment. How is the state of our troop? Okay, we've Utram heard a little bit. You're doing good things here, Uma. Looking very good. Yeah, we have this thing. It's actually pretty decent in terms of damage that it can do, but it's not enough in terms of armor penetration. We already have our inventory filled with nice stuff. I really want to sell this, but I can't. Do I switch Utram out? Not really. He's not hurt all that much. Let's go for these guys. Few war dogs, many mercenaries, a master archer. Sure. Let's take him. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, these guys don't really have, like we don't have any uniques on our guys, but we're pretty decently equipped, I'd say. They have a guy with a net, that's their master archer. No helmet though, so he's a fool. <laughs> yep, that happens to you if you are not wearing a helmet, buddy. That guy too. Wait, let them come up. Are they gonna? Yeah, they're coming up, sure. You don't think he will have a chance to use his stupid net. Do we wanna cut them out of the armors? Not really, doesn't really look like they have good armors here. Leave tech. We'll do this. I think I could do this one as well. Switch him in with Rubicant. Damn it, he just doesn't die. He might still be able to use his stupid net. Probably should consider fleeing. 
<laughs> yeah, those crossbows don't do anything here, buddy. Uh, we'll try to hit the Master Archer. Maybe him? 73% versus 44%. I think it's kind of clear that we take this guy. Well, uh, we don't hit. Sure, sure. Be that way. <laughs> Master Archer. Wonder if they have a masterwork bow. No, they all they have is a tier three bow. But it's still good. We're gonna give that to Helbo. Actually, kind of nice that they have a master archer here. Hmm. Okay. I think they have a lot more high initiative people than we do. Could try to get ahead on him. That guy has a lot of defense. 41, 43. So I want to try to hit him. Damn it. Yeah, against the heavy armors, these guys can't really do anything. Nice. In the face, buddy. Okay, he's netting Georg. That's not good. Reduces his defense values quite significantly. The problem is we don't have any tools. Come on. God damn it! That's the second 73% shot that he missed. How many of those are we gonna miss? That's what I wanna know. He actually has a nice armor. Well, let's cut him out then. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you need that hat? A uh, head? <laughs> we could net him, but honestly, don't think it's a thing. Just chopping off heads, so all right. <laughs> hey, Rainbow. So, yeah, I'm guessing the viewer count is going to be considerably lower than normally, because we have the Brazil... Brazil Belgium game. And I would have liked to watch that, but then again, gotta take this serious. Uh, seriously. <laughs> we don't want his armor necessarily. Okay, let's do this. Nah, didn't work. And now he's forced to switch to the dagger, which dramatically reduces his damage output. I like that. This guy, we'll, we'll be able to get him. It's just three tiles, so he's kind of done for. Well, that will work too. I like the Noble War music. Oh, reload. We'll, we'll try to get him with the dagger. With the daggers here. Yeah. Wham. Yeah, I think we're still pretty solid. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Killed by Uma. We can actually use the experience. Very good. That's the rapple. Switch to the two-hander. Bit of a shame that we don't have that many uniques, but it's not a huge problem. Hey, Aben, how's it going? Yeah, more Battle Brothers Winslayer. I knew that that would be a bigger draw than the World Cup. Uh, let's see if we can't chop this guy's head off. 57%, we'll risk it. <laughs> yeah, it actually worked. Poor guy. 10% hit chance, I'm not gonna take that shot. Makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can see that these guys are fighting with kind of the same dirty tricks that we're fighting with. <laughs> Using nets and... Oh, damn it! He punctured through the armor. You asshole. That's not right. It's just wrong. Shouldn't be allowed to do that. That will cause us to not be able to feel that um, Rubicant in the next battle. We really needed him. probably get this guy to flee. It's already bleeding profusely. 
don't think we necessarily have to send in the dogs. But still not dead. Something down. Yeah, this should only be one more turn. Hurricane says, you let me get hurt. <laughs> I'm doing my very best to stop that, but sometimes... I can't do it. Okay, we have no dogs. Really? Yeah, apparently we have no war dogs whatsoever. The enemy should just be fleeing now, so we can just end the we can just end the fight. I don't care much for chasing down that one guy. Yeah, it's over. <sighs> hmm, 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 hmm. So kills are very evenly distributed. Uh, except for Game Over, who killed two dogs in the beginning. That went rather well. Space Engineers? Um, Avorion, even. If you want to know the name of the one that I played. Okay, yeah, we got another Lamella harness. I'll take that. And yeah, that's a good bow. So we can actually give Halbo a better bow now. That's good. Take it all. Some people are pretty mad that they haven't been fighting for a while. Felt useless in reserve. Come on, guys. Don't be like that. Hmm. I mean, sure, you can be like that, but... Alright, so who's gonna get the Lamella harness? You're still wearing one of the worst harnesses that we have. It's 285. I think it needs to go to Rubicant. Yeah, buddy. Have that one. Then we have that. Okay, so I want to have very decent armors now. Could be worth it to drop down to this one, but maybe not right now. Uh, Halbo, you get the better bow here. Very good. Anything else? We kind of want to keep the high value stuff and repair it. Mm hmm. Go for a bit of a reshuffle here. Right. Good thing about just selling those shields. Um, Rubicant will have to take a bit of a break in the back row. I think we'll just bring him in. Regular special. I'm gonna switch helmets here. Front row kind of needs to have full helmets, so that's a thing. Mm, let's still try to shove the bags of these guys. And I think that's kind of what we want to do here. Oh, we can't carry an armor in here? Okay, then. Oh, yeah, we have another closed mail carf. We don't really need it. Yeah, I mean, a warrior should be alright in MP. That was says more bows, more kills, more loot, more kills, more loot. <laughs> That's the endless cycle. If only I had a reliable source for tools, but that's kind of the, the big problem here. Alright, then we'll just give each of these guys something. Yeah, have something. Oh, he already has something. Although, we could probably see if someone here yeah, doesn't have a net. Give the nets to the people that are actually fighting, because they're useful. <laughs> Gotta create some inventory space. We're gonna have at least one more big battle coming up. And we also have another company. Um, coming after us. Okay, that looks alright. HP-wise, we're still fine, I'd say. So we'll just move on. Oh, yeah, we have some bandages. Did anyone lose his bandage? Yeah, over here. So that, that also frees up inventory space. Really gotta buy more dogs for these noble war fights. That would be good. Save it on the test. Um, I have made my own designs in Avorion. 
but I'm probably not the most talented designer in the world. So and when I started playing Avorian, there was no workshop, but now there is tons of great stuff in the workshop uh, with really, really amazing designs. I mean, obviously tons of Star Destroyers, but um, all kinds of other stuff too. I really like it. Okay, so yeah, that's the supply caravan. It's actually being pretty slow. How much inventory space do we have? 92 for 117. We're gonna get plenty of loot out of this. Now the question is, do we just camp here? Okay, we're out of tools, officially. <laughs> Regular special the hammer wipes sweat and blood off his forehead. These bunch of cheats! I thought only I knew that trick. Mercenaries are a motley bunch and inherently unpredictable, with a bizarre array of equipment, wildly varying skills and experience, and cunning tactics. With no standards for members, they may be nothing more than a bunch of elderly tradesmen looking for adventure. But then again, you could be surprised by a group of veteran campaigners. Worse, they follow no rules of engagement. The Iron Brotherhood did their best. But though they knew many of the same clever stratagems as the brothers, they were no match for the dragon layers. Your victory will surely show employers far and wide whose blades are the sharpest. <laughs> Very good. Man, that supply caravan is... Oh, come on, no! Really? Really? I mean, sure. I'll beat you again and again if you want to. Do they have anything nice? That is a decent armor up there. I kind of just care about maximum carnage here, I think. Ow! Could you not? We're already out of tools. This is definitely not the fight that I want to fight right now. <laughs> he has a net. He's the only one that I really want to cut out. Okay. Then again, there's much better armor to be had. Now we'll just whack him. <laughs> He's fleeing. He lost his head. He lost his head. <laughs> You should have should have thought about that twice, I think. Okay, he missed his shot. That's good. I have not replaced H3O. Yet. Ideally it would be a hedge knight who replaces him. that one. Could have done without it. Every damage, every bit of damage that we take here is gonna negatively affect our ability to fight in future battles, so... And a lot of our people are more heavily armored than these guys, so they'll go later in the in the line. Okay, yeah, he's fleeing now, sure. He's dead. Take it. Damn it. What's he doing? He went for a repost. Wham. Okay, both of these are not hurt at all. 55, 70. Take that guy. And he's fleeing. Okay, we'll stop him from shooting. Uh, looks like we're basically one here. Oh yeah. I'd rather not fought these guys. <laughs> if 
flop this ass. HG plus will be missed, even if the sniper didn't. <laughs> sniper related humor. It's the best. Let's see if we can't. Oh yeah. He has grazed kidneys now. Not the worst trait to have in an enemy. Okay, we'll switch in. Damn it. Yeah, he needed that. He costs us the use of Utram in the next fight. Okay, so. And another head off. I actually love the cleavers. It's just a lot of fun <laughs> chopping heads off left, right, and center. Okay, damn. And we're at the point where we got to think about what we take and what we don't take. I think we'll definitely leave all the shields, because the shields are kind of useless. Leave that. These are useless. Yeah, no shields. Hmm. We'll do that. Sure, I, I'm not gonna take the shields. We're fine here. <laughs> hey, and tech dragon priest leveled up. So let's see, I'll give you more resolve, because that's what you do best. Yeah. I mean, this is three melee skill. It's a really good roll. I think I'll take it, so you at least have a 50-50 chance to hit things. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, the rotation. I think recover might be good. Sword mastery, I think we'll go with battle forged here, make you a little bit sturdier. And yeah, we're gonna rotate out Utram the bull. Damn shame. What happened? Can't we discard stuff? Is there a way to throw things out of the inventory? Sword items, show height, mood. Shouldn't there be a way to throw things away? Feels a bit odd. I guess I automatically clicked on something there. Okay, well, in any case, Bertram is not gonna fight. That means we've got to put someone else in. I think we'll put in Mad Badger. But Mad Badger really shouldn't be holding that flail. We'll do this. You can have a net. You can have a net. Anyone, everyone needs a net if they can carry one. I will probably be attacked if I go over here. Will they even talk with me? They won't. Damn it. So what are they carrying? They have a sergeant, a few arbalesters, some buildmen, many footmen, and a few caravan guards. I think we'll just do this in the night. All things considered. Mm, yeah, I like that idea. That'll make the arbalesters much less useful. Okay, we'll drop the sword. We'll drop the standard bearer. And instead we'll pull like the back row guys. Mm hmm. Hmm, don't really have any two-handed people anymore. Well, we have you. And I guess the pimp can go in, although the pimp is carrying a billhook. Well. Oh. 
Belloc might be better than the Ancient Bladed Pike. I mean, he has 69 melee skill. He might be able to hit it. It's a lot more damage. It's a lot more effective against armor. But it doesn't have the increased chance to hit, so... Yeah. Still, I think we can do this. Alrighty. Looking decent. Looking decent, I'd say. Let's, let's jump in. Haven says, can I have a backup sword? You have a dagger. If you like if you are fighting with your melee weapon, we already are gonna lose the fight, most likely. So And the dagger can actually be surprisingly effective. I'll I'll try to get rondel daggers for everyone. Let's save it. Hello. You have the you have the helmet that lets you see in the night, even that's why we're using you in this fight. Even if we're not using the other archers. It feels like they're gonna move up, so I'm actually not gonna use that shot. And I'm actually gonna try to see if they if they come up and we can do things to them. No hit here. That worked a bit better. Now oh, they're all massing up on our... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have engaged on that. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. I will... Well, I guess we can do this. We'll do the following. We switch him up so that he can attack right away. There's a head off. Okay. Yeah, getting the billhook guys is pretty important. As soon as possible, ideally. Mm -hmm. Bring him down. Oh, he's fleeing. Sure. <laughs> I could footwork into here, but the fatigue is already pretty high on him. So, I'd rather not. Hey, Flopsy says my Gwentluck has been non-existent now. Got to the stage where I'm playing against people who actually know what they're doing. I had a I had a bad losing streak today. Played six games and only won one of those. That was kind of embarrassing. Oh, whoa, whoa. yeah, that sergeant is basically a an axe duelist. That's gonna end on nice for us, I think. If only I could have restocked on tools before this fight. I just have to hope that this contract is over. After this. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's the nimble. Let's go with this one. Got A hidden. <clears throat> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Mad Badger killing three in, well, not quite in one strike, but almost. This guy's thinking about fleeing. I kind of think that if we can switch Lever in, we can kill both of those. Damn it. Or not. We could also just totally miss. Arbalest is gone though. Nice. There's another head chopped off.
Doesn't look like we're gonna take many losses here. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Kills during the night. Yeah, the music adapts to the to the kind of enemy that you that you're fighting currently. So you get creepy music if you're fighting monsters or stuff like that. And you get those noble game of games of uh, game of thronesy music if you're fighting the noble houses. The shield wall can be pretty annoying though. These guys just love to stand behind their shields. But if you have enough two-hander hits, at some point you get through. <clears throat> There's another head gone. Mm, these guys are pretty much finished. Normally, I should probably not have split my groups. Should have kept in one location. I thought the upper group was definitely the stronger one. the sergeant in there and everything. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it's worth it to use those shots. They're really bad. Finally! Okay, he's fleeing. Every morale drop also reduces their stats, which is why you often have this cascade where they get hurt a little bit and then their morale drops a little bit and then they're even easier to hit. He's not looking so hot. Ah yeah, finally. Shield War can be so annoying. But now he lost his head. <laughs> Love the ability to just chop off the heads here. Okay, one more turn. We're through this. Actually, no, that's not that's not true. Now we gotta run them down because we I think we gotta kill the caravan. I think that is what has to happen. Don't we? I don't think we can just let them run. I think we actually have to kill the 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 donkeys. <laughs> hey, Kato says, I heard there was a disgusting lack of Kato in that squad. <laughs> disgusting lack of Kato. Definitely sounds like a thing. Okay, so we're gonna slaughter these poor innocent donkeys, because I guess that's the kind of guys that we are. Any animal rights people really would not be happy with me here. I don't think. I'm sending dogs to die. I'm killing donkeys. It's all very bad. I'm so sorry.
Aaron says, I'm no Peter person, but the sound the donkeys are making is kind of sad. I agree! Well, that's our contract. That's what we gotta do. That was disheartening, for sure. So let's get rid of all the crap. No tools to loot here, sure. Why would there be tools to loot? That's about it. It's about as much as we can carry. Take that one. I'll leave one free. Aaron says we're just sleeping. <laughs> hey, it's your plus. How's it going? You had hoped to perhaps raid all that you could from the caravan, but the guards set fire to everything before it could be stolen away. Unfortunate, but all that matters is that House Helen's army did not get their hands on all this equipment. One less problem to deal. Uh, would I have gotten rewarded if I left the donkeys alive? <laughs> right, well, in any case... Come across a wounded soldier wearing a shredded banner of House Krieger, your ally. Seeing you, he quickly scoots backward across the grass. He throws his hand out and tries to curse, but only blood spits from his mouth. XCOM the Useless walks up to you. He's got a nice set of armor and a weapon on him. We could take him out if you want, but there's a risk that his army is not far off. We could be very careful about this. Eh? Yeah. Oh, we leave him alone. I don't just want to do random killings here. It doesn't sit quite right with me. I think I'm going to go to Lichtmark first, sell all my crap, try to get some tools. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can sell our stuff for 90% of its worth, so that's, I guess, kind of nice. Yeah, I guess we sell all the old armor that we had. Really valuable stuff I want to keep and repair and sell later on. I like the cheap crap we can sell right now. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that's fully repaired here. I think it might be worth it to keep it. On the other hand, we're gonna have real difficulties getting tools. So that one. We'll probably get a lot more loot out of things. I'm not quite sure if I should hold on to this and repair it later on. I mean, I have to buy the tools because we're really starved for them, but. I'd rather we didn't have to do that. I'll go ahead and try to heal you guys. It's gonna be good. Sure. <laughs> Kaido says without bad guys, there are no good guys. <laughs> uh, are, are we the baddies? Are, are we the bad guys? I'll pay around, so that's gonna be good. What do they have in terms of recruits? 
Adventurous Noble can actually be quite good. High resolve and melee skills. Oh, there's another boy, yeah. Donbird. Yeah, I think we're gonna pass there. We do have a high level caravan hand, don't we? Um, Farmhand, cultist. Companion, fisherman, swordmaster. Oh yeah, the pimp, farmhand. Hunter, yeah, that's our caravan hand, Utram. So he should be able to help us improving our inventory space at some point. Let's upgrade Avon. Didn't even see that you had a level up there, but that's good. And we've got Ramal. Yeah, could have been better. Go for the defense roll here. I think we'll go more fatigue. Level 10. Yeah, I still haven't really decided what to do with you. But you you look like you're going to be a two-hander guy. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, I guess I have a couple of high-level things that I can sell. That people have in their inventory. I just have a net. And a sword. Do people who don't need it? Yeah, like Levi... Has arrows. Maybe he doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. Might be a bit stingy in micromanagey to have it that way. <sighs> Aaron says the guy had a traumatic open pneumothorax, a puncture of the left of the lung from patients point of view in me medieval time there was no such thing like a thorax drainage system but bandaging the wound could still make a difference the body is sometimes able to restore the vacuum in the pleuros vault okay sounds like you know a lot about that interesting how do you know that kind of stuff even Oh, we're the good guys because we're fighting for House Krieger, the guys who trample on their enemies. I get it now. Sure. There's a consideration to just sell all of this right now. Because we're probably going to get plenty of loot and we might not be able to get our hands on a lot of tools. Maybe use the tools on... Yeah, i tell you what, we're just, we're just going to kick it all. Hey, thanks for the cheer, Kato. What he said. <laughs> Let's get rid of all the things. Okay, much better, I guess. And we even have that war bow. I think we could keep that one. Might come in handy at some point. Might not. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Alright. We'll go down to Grotenholm, see if we can't get a couple more tools. Our stuff is still banged up. Hmm, force to you the commander to see that the company succeeds. So we can pick another ambition. I think we'll just take the one for the noble houses. Bask in the glory here. At least it gives us a status update on how things are going. Kind of, at least. Okay, come on. I need tools, even if you've been raided. Okay. That is just barely enough to repair our things. Doesn't really give us a lot of operational efficiency here. No, we haven't found the dragons. I'm kind of thinking that we might actually have to give up the dragon thing. I've been playing quite a bit of my own private campaign. And there I have also not managed to find any dragons. They're just super rare. Which is a bit of a shame. Like, if they make a dragon DLC, at least make them somewhat easy to find. Yeah, we haven't found the Lindworm as of yet. That's our final ambition. I mean, what I could do is basically... Before one of the streams, I could try to search for things. Ah, come on, guys. You know you have no chance. Stop following me. 
It's not gonna work. Okay, I guess they're determined to do it. Should we go for it? I'd rather not. Just go away. <sighs> okay, I guess they deserve it. Mm -hmm. Still have Alice. Who kind of needs to fight here? Ah, we'll do it like this. It's fine. We need someone experienced to fight on the side. Middle is kind of the safest place. Yeah, this looks okay. Come at me, bro. Nah. Um, Karma says maybe those enemies are part of the next mission. They always have a coin symbol over their head. If that were the case. wait for them to come to us and they will sure that's good let them come Just gotta wait one complete turn. I don't really want to waste my movement. Because it, it gives us fatigue and everything, too. We'll just let them come up. Okay, he's almost dead. <laughs> Why can't I hit him? Is it because of that bush? It's annoying. Nice. One. Two. Ah, almost. Now we don't have to reach with game over. That sucks. Well, what can you do? Man, those Avalas almost kill these guys with one shot. Almost, not quite. Mm. I don't really want to fight where they have the height advantage, so I guess I'm just gonna move around. Try to engage that one. Nice. Damn it. Almost. says. Do you remember when we invented this hand thingy? Yeah, it wasn't a RimWorld series. It was a secret insult or curse, something like that. Please hold the line. <laughs> Aaron says a friend of mine actually found a hilarious explanation for the hand. The RimWorld camp is just a bunch of Nazis frequently seek heiling each other. I cracked. <laughs> Plus says, oh no, it's true. Nazis in space. <laughs> that one's hilarious. Yeah, it could be. Could be. I mean, what other explanation could there be? It must be that. Okay, yes, that guy's gone. Close the bag on that one. Nice. Sure. Oh yeah. Nice thing about having 
a berserk with these guys is that they can shoot two times. Is it berserk? Yeah, it is berserk. If they remain stationary at least. Not looking too healthy there, boys. Maybe reconsider your decision to attack us? Although I guess now it's kind of too late. Uh, it doesn't look too good for Uma, though. Then on the other hand, killing three in one turn. <laughs> well, what more can you want? We need to give him a bit of a better armor. He only has a 230. Most of the other guys are already around with some better armors. Okay, so we have 39, 35 and 53. Okay, chop that head off. And now, yeah, our chances have gone up because these guys are kind of afraid. They're trembling behind their shields. Yes! <laughs> No really good... Yeah, well, he can still be a target for our crossbow guys. I don't want to shoot at my own guys at all, if I can possibly avoid it. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> oh, that Arbalest is just running away. He's like, nope, I'm out of here. Hey, welcome to the channel. Tony Tautops. Toe tops. Uma says those pills won't stop me. <laughs> yeah. They picked the wrong fight. I'm not sure why they were so eager. I mean, okay, they had the numerical advantage, but. If you if you count it in their terms, we're a party with Almost exclusively knights. You, like, just class it by equipment. <sighs> I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, he's, still, he's gonna get an attack in. Could you not? Stop scratching my armor. Okay, he needed that. Damn it. Okay, 51%. And the head is gone. We don't have any dogs to hunt the archer down, but I don't think that's really necessary. We could just end the turn. It's over. Yeah, I have. Everyone wants to know if I ever shot one of my own guys and killed him. I did. <laughs> how, are, how are Belgium versus Brazil doing? What's the score currently? Mm, things are looking good. Bunch of kills on these guys. Hellbolt, two kills. Uma got four, but also got like the most damage by a long shot. Two zero for Belgium. Nice. <laughs> actually, it would be kind of fine. Uh, I would be pretty happy actually if Belgium won. Brazil ain't making it. Ah oh, damn. They should really roll around on the floor a little bit more. And fake injuries, that will be good. Maybe that'll win them the game. Or maybe not, who knows. I mean, if you... I, I saw the, the game where Belgium was two behind and then managed to turn it around and win 3-2. 
If you have that kind of determination and, and willpower, I think that gets you pretty far in a tournament. I definitely just think they can they can do it this time. Alternatively, I actually would also be happy if England won. Because Brexit is not very far. <laughs> and they're gonna be in for a world of hurt. So Lambert informs you that tomorrow is the big day. You return to your tent for good and earned rest. Rest well this night for tomorrow battle awaits. Yeah, sure, man. Sure. <laughs> okay, so game over. Okay, that's the first bad roll that you get, but it's at like level nine. I, I'll live with it. It's fine. Go for range defense. Kind of feel like we could go for one fatigue roll here instead of initiative. Let's go ahead, Hunter. It's always fun. Kato says, what the fuck? How is Belgium beating Brazil? <laughs> but how did... What did Switzerland play against them? 1-1, I think? How did that happen? Okay, yeah, Uma has to take a pause. Man, you got, got really banged up there. Damn shame that we won't have you available for the next battle, but... I'm gonna need someone in the front line. I think we're gonna use Pyramus here. He can, he can chomp down his strange mushrooms. How are you doing? 66 of 81. It's gonna be a tough battle, too. Oh well. You're fine. Camp. Okay, so this this World Cup has been confusing to all. It's been a bit of, uh, of a weird one, and it started weird as well with Italy and the Netherlands not qualifying. That's just weird. Hey, Yogi Guru Gaming, welcome to the channel. War is a hell of a thing. How does one sell a man on it? Sir Lambert does his best, pontificating on numerous subjects as he addresses his men. First he states that it is the honorable thing to do. Then he states that there are many soldiers here, no doubt increasing the odds that some other schmuck will die instead of you. Health in numbers. Then he argues that losing this battle might mean losing their wives, their children, their country. This last number seems to work the best as the men roar with anger and energy. Through the now cheering crowd of soldiers, you can easily spot the cynics and sodomites. <laughs> okay. Holy hell, we're gonna fight a few knights, a few warlocks, a few sergeants, a few standard bearers. Plethora of footmen, many billmen, some arbalesters. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. But since we're a mercenary company... We'll definitely let our allies do the heavy lifting, and then we'll swoop in and mop up the rest, I think. Oh man, look at the fabulous headgear of Sir Lambert. Dude, give me your helmet now. I want it. I need it. Come on. Take it off. Take it off. I can't, I can't actually uh, shoot him here. It's a bit of a shame. <sighs> So what, what are we dealing with here? Actually, let's use the bird. Okay, we're fighting Sir Hilmar. Fighting one single dude up here. I don't see any arbalesters. Like, I see the smaller ones, but I don't see a proper arbalest. That's good, that's really good. That probably makes it so that our company will, our group will pretty easily win this one, I think. I see not really a lot of two-hander guys either. Like sometimes they have the spy-hander guys. Carl says this judge just ain't giving a damn for Brazil's acting. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll, we'll try to get that helmet for sure. Says the Helmer has a 
helm with our name on it. I like the sun helms a lot. Well, do we do we shoot right now? I think so. I mean, they're bareheaded fools to be punished for being stupid. Here come the dogs. I don't think they can do a lot. It's kind of weird that our mercenary band would make up the bulk of this army. We actually have um, an arbalest on our side, so that's really good. Okay, yeah, he has nimble, but... <laughs> that doesn't really help you, man. Wear some headgear. He already has a skull over, over his head. Oh yeah, that's a random arbalester. Okay, I don't care for him. And he's gone. Sure. And another one bites the dust. Okay, can't get any shots off here. We're missing the height advantage. Ow. Boyus Boyus says, I thoroughly enjoy a spot of sodomy, especially on the weekends. Nothing wrong with a bit of sodomy. Actually, if you use it in the ancient sense that is used in the game, which means men having sex with, you, with each other, if you use it for bestiality, that's something different. There's no, nothing consensual. I don't think the, the animal is ever going to really agree to it. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll let these guys come up. I'm in no hurry. Okay, so let's do this. Whack him. There's our knight coming. Oh yeah, we'll switch this guy out. There's another sergeant. He kind of needs to die. But not right now. Next turn. Okay, well. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mad Badger is already hurt. Don't like that, to be quite honest. Now we should have easy shots though for our Arvalesters. Nice. Carl Mark says, do you know do you people know Garfunkel and Oates? They are these two artists. Look for the song Sex with Ducks on YouTube. I'm not sure I want to go down that particular rabbit hole. <laughs> Boyus boy says, you mean my parakeet was lying when it consented? Shocking. <laughs> Garamon says, Brazil prayers are diving so much, now the Germany could use them as tactical bombers. <laughs> the thing is, I don't get why they do it. It's not really gonna give them an advantage. And, like, they're good enough that they don't need it. That's a weird thing. Why would you try to do it if you have nothing to gain from it? Other than looking bad. One down. Another guy without a helmet. Oh, hey, they're hitting our knight. No, they hit someone in the back. An arbalester. And a billman. Could you not? 
<laughs> nice one. Diving than Chuck Cusso. <laughs> I want one of these banners. That would be cool if they handed me one. Ow! That cleaver is doing bad things to our guys. I don't like it at all. Oh, there's a there's another knight, Sir Burkhardt. I kind of overlooked him because he doesn't have the fancy headgear, but yeah, might be able to get some some good armor from him too, if we can. I should not have put Bjorn Ironside so far up, that's not good. I don't like it, it's not looking good. Might have to do a rotation maneuver up there. Sense. I think Brazil is actually not that good. The guys always behave like they invented football itself, but their glory comes from another time. They're better nations in football today. I mean, there's an up and down, I guess. Karmark says it's honestly not even half as weird as it sounds. It sounds pretty weird, even if you detract like 50% from that. Still in for a lot of weird. Okay, well. We'll switch Bjorn out. I don't want any of my guys to die. We do our best not to do that. We've invested a lot of uh, a lot of time and energy now, guys. Why is Matt Badger out here by himself? Well, at least Sir Lambert is charging in. Gotta say, I love those horns. They're very stylish. I'm so mad that we won't get any of those. Oh no, oh no. He's engaged by a knight. That doesn't bode well. We'll switch Sir Lambert over. Let him handle things. It's alright. Um. That guy out, I guess. Okay. So, ah, oh, damn! That stupid guy got in my way. I need to switch him out. He's probably gonna die otherwise. I mean, oh well. What will be, will be. Instead of a surprising amount of archers, I can't believe that I let that many of them live. Come on. Don't kill the standard bearer. Tell the enemy lord he has to give the hat. <laughs> Evan says the lack of cavalry is really unnerving. I mean, Ritter derives from Reiter. There needs to be a fucking horse. Um, maybe, in, maybe if there's a second part or something. I definitely agree with you. Kind of weird to think the medieval era without any proper knights. It's still, it does its thing. Maybe, like, it is a fantasy world. Maybe they don't have any horses. Maybe they're fantasy Mesa America. No horses. Although then wearing that super heavy armor doesn't uh, wouldn't make a lot of sense. Flopsy says maybe the orcs ate all the horses. Maybe. 
Goat Riders. We need to get to the knight to cut him out of his fancy headgear. Where is he going? Who is he going to engage? Okay, random dude. Alright then. He does have an axe. It's not nice to stand next to a knight with an axe. At least this guy is attacking a random person. Damn it. Well, I'll switch Bjorn out. He stopped bleeding now, that's good. So... Do we engage right now? It does feel like it. Which of the dagger here? Yeah? Okay, considering this guy, what do we do? What do we do? He hasn't really taken any damage. I think we'll switch to the dagger here. It's not gonna be easy. Can't throw the net, but we need to go for the nets for sure. So we netted one. <laughs> They're already down to 13 guys though. And yeah, they killed the standard bearer. I think it was a long time coming. Well, Ninko says I can't change the video quality. Yeah, because if there's a lot of traffic on Twitch, then only the partners get that. Like the full partners. The cost server capacity. So if I'm if I'm lucky and there's not a lot of stuff happening on Twitch, you get the transposing options to change the video quality, and if not, then uh, then not. I think they're not really going our way up here, but can't reach these guys. Oh, actually, don't really care for the knight. Okay, that did it. Damn it, Aven. To the NASA, so we'll have to get to partnership then. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get up to a hundred concurrent viewers for a while, a while, and then that is a, a thing that can definitely happen. I am an affiliate partner, but that's like regular partners, affiliate partners, and then everyone else. And you can guess that there's a lot of traffic on Fridays on Twitch. Okay, so we'll throw the net on this guy as well. Switch to the dagger. Oi! Why did Sir Lambert just run away? Coward! How did he manage that? He's netted. Well, feel the wrath of the dagger. Thing is, our guys have really good melee skill. So hitting them is actually not that hard, especially when they're netted. Unsurprisingly, an enemy who is tangled in a net, it's kind of easier to hit. Yes! Okay, come down. I want my fancy headgear. Can make it happen. Um, did he get out of his net? He didn't even try. Kind of disappointed in him. I won't be able to use the dagger here anyways. So I'll wait one turn. I 
And Levi also has to wait a little bit. Boyes Boyes says, how do you tell which team is which? They all look the same. In the game or in the football game? Here in the game, you see it um, from the direction that they're facing. The enemy is always facing from the right to the left. So for example, these guys down here, the archers, and our guys are always facing from left to right. The archers are fleeing. Cowards. We'll just shoot shoot these guys. Or maybe that footman. He, he might use it. Ah, no, it's fine. Mm, yeah, this guy will probably not make it. <laughs> well, we don't care about the randos, right? Yeah, the knight is running away from the other knight. I thought they would battle, but I guess it's too much effort for him. Sure then, let the mercenaries do the heavy lifting. Why don't why don't you? If you were to shoot him in the back, Avon, I wouldn't be mad. We'll bring Pyramus up. Try to surround these guys, that's the way to do it. Um, we'll concentrate on the guy, on the upper guy first. We'll switch that one out. He should be, he should be thinking about fleeing right about now. This guy's not looking too great. Come on. One. Oh, damn it! That's just one more hit to take on that guy, and he would be ours. I tell you what. Ah, oh, damn it! He got out of the net! No! That's not allowed! Who told you that would be a thing? I could use the crossbow to shoot him down. If I wanted to, maybe. Oh, damn. This guy's running too, I think. Would allow us to capture another greatsword, so I'm actually kind of interested in getting him. Sadly, all our archers are drunk, so it's kind of difficult to get him. Thunair says, I think about that I do to Mercs and Crusader Kings at U4. I have great employers. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, in EU4, those mercenaries don't really have a voice where they can say, I'm not doing that attack, man. He's fleeing. Very good. Very good. Still netted too. Still attacking the randos. This looks like exactly the outcome that we wanted. Come on, Mad Badger, make me proud. At least he tried to get out of the net first. Okay. One more turn when nothing happens. Sure. Our guys need to get that breath. Ah, oh, that guy's gonna he's gonna he's gonna run away. It's not good. Do we Nah, shield. Yes! 
Hit him. Flopsy says, please throw your 1k against that 25k Ottoman army. Okay, you're the boss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, they wouldn't even have to say it out loud. I think it kind of would just be implied that they could say no, because they are also an armed force. There's a reason why a lot of armies haven't really relied too heavily on the mercenaries. Okay, regular special. Come on, be my hero. Yes! <laughs> okay, we cut two of those. We cut we cut both of the knights down. Daggers are deceptively small weapons, but with a puncture skill. They're kind of an anti-knight weapon. Almost through. Only three more people to kill. We gotta kind of catch that guy, but it's gonna be difficult for sure. I wish I had some war dogs. I've got to go and stock up at some point. There's no way I'm going to catch him now. Damn it! Okay, well. Yes, we got him. <laughs> and his own arbalest also got him. Yeah, he's going to get away. Damn it, I should have engaged him. Okay, there's only one left. He's running away. Do we have any war dogs? Not really. Shame. You guys are gonna keep me informed, right? If the score changes. That would be kinda nice. And he's almost at the edge of the of the thing though. I don't think we'll be able to get him. Damn shame. Damn shame. Would have liked that two-hander. But what can you do? Nah, we're just not close enough. Well, we, if he does something stupid, maybe. Our guys are really fagged out though. Extremely fatigued. We're trying to run him down. Yeah. Damn. Big battle though. Big battle. Um, decent amount of experience on a lot of people. Regular special should have gotten a lot of XP. Yeah, 490. That's good. Okay. For Belgium. 2-1. <laughs> Man, I want Belgium to win. <laughs> okay. We did not get the headgear. That is freaking annoying. We did not get the headgear. Why does the game do that to me? I mean, we get a coat of plates, but... No headgear feels bad, man. <sighs> Silas says, what do you YouTubers do? Like to watch or don't you watch any? No, I watch a bunch. I watch Quill 18. It's probably my favorite. I sometimes watch Arumba when he does when he has a series that interests me. I watch a broad range of YouTubers. I'm Das Tactic sometimes. Yeah, it's a damn shame that we didn't get the helmet, even though we killed both of the knights. No helmet in there. I could have done without the shields. Thank you very much. Oh well. Haven says, you just denied food from the queen. <laughs> it's difficult to eat while I stream. Sometimes I can manage it with some foods, but sometimes I can't. A wounded man bags at your feet. You can't tell if it's he, if he's one of Sir Lambert's men or an enemy. Suddenly, a spearhead jets in and pierces the man through the head, leaving him permanently side-eyed. You look over to see the killer tenting his hands atop the spear. With an accomplished look on his face, he points a finger. Yeah, that sells, all right. Sir Lambert told me that you <laughs> told me to tell you that you should head on back to your employer. That sound right to you? You nod. A groan rises from the piles of corpses. The man picks his spear back up, catching it in his other hand. Welp, back to it! 
Okay. So we're out here. The sun guys hate us now. They absolutely hate us. But that's that's only fair. Okay, let's go ahead and give Uma the coat of plates. Yes. Well, I guess this fatigue could maybe use a little bit of work. 81. How much does he have without any equip? 99? Really? Dude. Okay, yeah, you're seriously... You're seriously not ready to be a two-hander. That sucks. We gotta push your fatigue ASAP. Can't believe that I haven't done that. Weird. XCOM is max level now. Very good. 85. Uh, it's okay for a, for a crossbow guy, I think. Uma says. Uma strong? Yeah. But I'll... You're strong. We'll, we'll do our best to make this work. <laughs> no, you're not weak. <laughs> Just easily fatigued, I think. Hey, PGDK, how you doing? I want to know if I did get items of renown? I didn't. I mean, yeah, I have, I have two shields, and we're not really using shields, so they're just hanging in the inventory, not doing much. Someone says, ah, Uma Fett. <laughs> the pimp is still here for the battle. You're um, rocking a bill hook now. Still fighting from the second row, but you're almost maxed out. And then we'll choose a weapon specialization. You'll probably become a two-hander guy as well. Not too bad. What to do with XCOM, though? I could pull another Gifted. I actually have perks to spare with him. Yeah, let's go for Headhunter. That's always good. Now we still have another one. Executioner... Could go Pathfinder. It's kind of good to get to height and positions with crossbowmen. Fortified Mind won't really help us a lot. We already have the Steel Brow. I think we'll go for a perk other than Gifted, I think. It's not really worth it here. Twenty percent damage against targets that have sustained any injury effects. It is nice. Overwhelm's not really gonna help me. We don't have any defensive perk. We could go Battleforged here if we wanted to. Yogi Guru Gaming says the other knight probably stole that helmet. <laughs> you think he just took it for himself? Which one? The one on our side? Okay. Page of the case is trying to stay cool. We should have record heat here today in Denmark. Uh, it was kind of... Mm, it was rainy here in Munich. Why would the other guy steal his helmet, though? He already has a beautiful helmet. Adaptation could be a thing. I kind of feel like he needs a survivability perk. He only has 63 HP. But then again, he already can wear like heavier helmets and stuff. I think we'll go Pathfinder. Could be useful from time to time. Additional 20% damage. I'm not sure how much difference it will make. Pathfinder can be useful get into nice positions. Gotta switch him out. Put one of our back row boys in, I think. Okay. Right. The good thing is these guys still don't hate us. So I might actually saunter up here, try to get some more tools. says just open some cider to the pizza <laughs> nice yogi says that's just how he rolls 
<laughs> you think he's a thieving bastard? Stealing my helmets? My fancy helmets? Maybe. You really shouldn't, but it is a distinct possibility, I guess. Okay, we have, a, we have a ton of this crap, and I think I'll just throw it all out. I will keep one. Um, the high value stuff, I guess I'm gonna keep. We'll get a lot more if we repair it. Sell the dagger, sell the falchion. Yeah, you, like, you cannot get almost double for a fighting axe at that price point, so it's really not worth it to sell it right now. Do we have any injuries? Yeah, we do, actually. Let's treat those injuries. Roby says, 42C. Will only get warmer. Yeah, you live in Phoenix, right? Aaron is citing the rule of the rule of acquisition number thirty-four. War is good for business. Yeah, we're done here. Redraw the maps. Refugees, messengers, and traders on the road are reporting that Hermannshof now belongs to House Winterhall. Board has changed, so... Okay, the fish guys took Hammonds off. Right. I gotta get to Grotenholm, and then I'll try to get some tools. We'll probably be able to make a lot of money due to this war. My leash tells me that you did well in battle. The guard looks around awkwardly. That, that was all I was supposed to say. No tools? No tools. What do you have? Three skull contract. Wars require a bit more than clashing armies against one another. Sometimes they demand a bit of subterfuge. What I need, Selsort, is for you to raid their territories for five days. Destroy caravans, burn farms, anything that would help the war cause. Of course, you should be wary of enemy patrols. I know if you were coming after my lands and peoples, I'd come after you doubly hard. So what say you? How much money is he gonna give me? That's quite a bit. Uh, 6,000. We're not going to do it right away, though. We'll we'll do it in a second. I gotta get to Gronfeste, get some tools, and then we're gonna go up here, get some tools. The war is only dragging on now, instead of raging. That's not good. Want me to buy the net? Oh, we still have nets. Ah, oh, come on! I'm in no mood. We have a sword master in this one. Come on, go away. I have no time for you. Hell yeah! Okay. So we at least get 80 tools. I will also buy the war dog. Um... I will buy the food. Do they have anything nice? Nah. I mean, they have a two-hander, but we'll we'll get two-handers, I think, later down the line. Nothing nice in here either. Sure, I'll buy a round. What are they offering here? He also wants me to raid. One thing that I actually found out... ...is 
is that if you get atop mountains during the day, it actually increases your vision radius. So it's a kind of a good way to look for places you can attack. Aaron says, I recently watched a Star Trek Discovery film thingy. Did I understand correctly that, dri that drive is a fungus there on shrooms? Yeah, let's not talk about Discovery. It's really weird. Oh no, the contract is gone. How? Why? No. Come on. Well, okay. I mean, I get tools and supplies. I take that. Maybe there's something nice in Lichtmark. Hello. Hope you guys are doing well. There's a supply caravan. And we could just we could just war upon these guys on our own if we wanted to, I guess. Hello. Uh, I mean... Oh! This belongs to all guys now. Let's get up there then. These guys are coming after me, really? No. Didn't think so. Carl says, I will never forget what they did with the Klingons. Yeah, it is kind of atrocious. Hello, Widowmakers. Also nothing conquered. Camp here for a day. Should have probably taken that raiding contract nonetheless, but I, I wanted to go up here and buy some more tools. That's what I wanted to do. Maybe I'm just being too greedy. I will sell that arbalest. I could even sell the bow. I mean, how many... Actually, no, I'm not gonna sell the arbalest. Give it to Alice. There's no reason not to. And then we have the war dog. Someone needs to get the war dog. Give it to... I think Levi. Woof. Give that to Rubicant. Okay, let's go to Windburg, buy ourselves some tools, and then we can go do things. Oh, they have a contract. A great battle. No, oh, no, it's a battle against our own house, House Krieger. So I don't think it. I don't think that's going to be a thing. Ooh, Sir Albrecht's hatred. No one of our guys is using a flail though, and no one specialized in it. Don't think I want to spend eight thousand for something that I'm not going to use. Just wait here for a little bit. Okay. Now we buy the last tool, so you can only store 150, which is kind of weird. Should be able to actually carry more, or whatever. Still looking for that hedge knight. Hasn't appeared so far though. Okay, we'll go back. See if we can't get a contract. Guy wants me to take down brigands. Not gonna do it. I have fatter fish to fry. Okay, let's go back to Lichtmark. Let's see what we can do. I 
Evan says, maybe we're all too old for the industry, a minority. I like the old, more philosophical Star Trek. The ones that make you think. Yeah. I'm not sure. It might just end up on... Well, it is already ending up on Netflix, so... Yeah. I thought about that as well. Maybe I'm also not part of the target audience for that kind of stuff. Could be. Belgium wins? Yay! That's good. Hey, welcome to the channel. Jestifer Columbus. Sure. <laughs> Okay, we're still getting 19% on our stuffs. I'd call that good enough. So we're up to 24k. If I'd taken that other contract though, we might have been better off already though. Damn it, I want the nice raiding contract. Ooh, there's a there's a hunter level two. We do have a good bow left. I mean they won't be able to use it. We could give him an arbalest, level him up. And again, we're kind of fine. I, I want the hedge knight. Why are these guys out? Are they getting attacked? I mean, we need to we need to get some form of work. The thing is, if I get out to Gronfeste right now, we're kind of gonna have a reset, anyways. Ah, come on! All right, I run down there. These might not have been the best guys to hook up with. Hey, Poppy. I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, we'll wait for the Hedge Knight. If there will ever be one. Uh, brigands with a Swordmaster. Goblin Raiders. I mean, yeah, these guys kind of have a problem with keeping their territory safe because they're right next to the goblin and orc territory. Guess that could be a bit of a problem. Okay, I guess we take this raiding contract. It's fine. Raiding innocent people, I guess we don't have a problem with that. I'll buy the tools and supplies. Why the hell not? And I guess we actually gotta take a reasonable amount of food. I'll take it. Just gives us 3,000, but... Raid and burn down places, destroy any caravans or patrols, return after five days. I'll do it. So... Destroy Stone Watchtower near Windburg. Guess that's the first one. Oh, wait. They want me to go way up. Oh, that's gonna suck. Should have taken the other one. The more you know. Haven says, we watched for dragons last time. We had like 12k, so we could go twice as long. Are we even ready for a dragon? I think we could, ta we could take a dragon. It cannot burn us, because it is a lindworm, so it spits acid. Oh, I have the cat on the balcony. I guess we gotta resupply here first. Hello, boys. Okay. Do that. It's pretty expensive to resupply, but that's how we gonna do it. We have some good armor that I have to dole out. Mm, we'll bring Uma. All our range guys kind of need to be in. 
Utram definitely needs to be in. We'll switch out Rubicant, I think. For now. Yeah, I think we can bring a lot of pain here. My whole front row has... Has bandages. I might have gone overboard on the bandages. Right, so who gets a coat of plates? Hotram also won't be able to deal with this, right? No. Damn it. So Apple? I mean regular special can. Because he's already using the decayed coat of plates, which is not that great. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Save this. As a perpetrator, I'm gonna take him out of the room. Pistol right. How are you doing? Holy hell. That is gonna be tough. <laughs> I get the feeling, I get the distinct feeling that House Krieger are kind of assholes. Like that is a huge battle and I'm just doing it for 3k. Mm -hmm. So things. These these um helmets that they're wearing, these are really good. They have 150 defense and yet they only reduce vision by one so if we can loot them that's going to be really good so that is a thing for our crossbow guys um yeah they have one arbalester incidentally the only guy that i can't hit from range yeah. it's right here nice well done, Avon. Are they just gonna hang back? Yeah, he missed. That's good. No, they're actually coming in. We're gonna neutralize those two-handed guys before they can do a lot of damage, <clears throat> ideally. Silas says you're just a pawn in the game. I think so too, yeah. Guess that's how it goes. On the other hand, we can try to come on out on top ourselves. Ooh, man, you're not looking too good, buddy. We have a dog, but do we need a dog here? I don't think so. I think we'll, we're will we not gonna engage over there. We'll actually try to have these guys go one on one. I'm pretty sure Uma can win this. Oi! Stupid dog. Arbalest hurt a lot. Do we need the dog now? Don't think so. Not right now, at least. Okay, so crossbow guys need to die. Yes, that was important. Well done, Avon.
Ouch. Yay, two dodges over here. My two ender guy didn't really get things done. Silas says, no need to pay dead mercs. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure that is also the reason why they're doing it. If we just narrowly win, or if we, or if we, better for them, if we narrowly lose, they won't have to pay us and they still do a lot of damage. No hit whatsoever. Disappointing. At least we got two hits in here. Let's try that again with the Arbalester. Come on, he needs to die. Yes. And that one, if at all possible. Or not. Dodge up here, that's good. He will never shoot at us again. I like it, and he's fleeing, sure. Problem is, we're already pretty damaged and we still have four additional targets. It's gonna be pretty rough, this contract. Okay, we destroyed his helmet. That's not good. Should have gone with the dagger. I wanted that one. Okay, that's his head off. That's good. I guess. I'll, I'll release a dog right now. See what it does. Get some additional targets on the board. Silas says, should I make my flail guy a duelist? No, flails do not make good duelist weapons. The good thing about the duelist is being able to get through the armor. The good thing about the flail is getting around the shield and being able to specifically target the head. If you want to go for duelist, either use an axe or a cleaver for the raw damage or use a sword and go with a nimble duelist. Or ditch the flail. If he already is specialized in flails... Ah, oh, I killed our own dog. Damn it. Oh yeah, that head is gone. <laughs> no way to get through his shield wall. Okay, that does it, I guess. He's fleeing now. Wham. Well, He's fleeing now too, because he's bleeding like a swine. Oh, come 
on. Yeah, these guys flee not at all normally because they have so much resolve. And he's gone. Um, oh, damn. The other guy only had a duelist hat, but we get two two handers, two, two great swords. It's definitely something that I like. And a bunch of other stuff. This is still good. Still good. We get another crossbow, too. Aaron says, you know what? Despite the fact that it is a good game, I will actually never get it. It's fun to watch you play it. Some games are fun to watch and some are fun to play yourself. Also, this will always be the Horrorth game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I gotta say I also enjoyed more playing it on stream. Just for the simple fact that I can name all these brothers after people in the chat and they will actually mean something. That is awfully nice. I don't have the same investment when I'm playing on my own. So what do they want me to do? Destroy Stone Watchtower near Grimhaug. Destroy Galarus Hut near Bramingwald. Destroy any caravans or patrols. Return in four days. I mean, do I really care about the caravans and the patrols? Oh, come on! Really? These guys? I don't have time for your crap. So what are we dealing with? Yeah, no, just some very optimistic bandits. Silas says, how freaking good are brigand marksmen? Very. Over says, what a great match. What a great match of Brazil versus Belgium. In the first half, they played equal. In the second, Brazil was domineering. They clearly deserved a penalty. So, Belgium 2 1 Brazil. Hmm. I think the surrounding is going to help them. I don't think so. We've got to get our archers out of the attack range, though. At least a bit. Die, scum. <laughs> the problem is that the armor of some of our guys is a bit damaged. So, yeah. But I don't think these guys would be a problem at all. Famous last words, I know. I'll try to get that arch over there. Thirty-five percent chance to hit that guy. Hmm. They really should know better. Nice, we got their leader. That's good. I think our raiding lord is actually getting it. Should have thought about who he needs to raid. says the first time I played Battle Brothers I even forgot where my starting brothers with all the random who were my starting brothers didn't change didn't see the sign that showed it right away 
Next game I went with the Bogue naming scheme. One of 20, two of 20. <laughs> 24 of 20. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is such a fun idea. bit disappointing. No hit there. 51-66. Okay, that head is gone. He's bleeding. He might actually bleed out if we're a little bit lucky. I'm gonna leave Utram standing here. Um, his arm is in bad shape. I should have probably put him into the reserves. about that guy. I'm really not here for them, but I guess I... There's no way to get rid of them either. <laughs> Ambushed in the woods. It's a great thing. Okay, at least I got the guy in the back. And then he's wielding a spear, which is kind of the worst weapon here to use for him. Because he's not going to do a lot of damage. Ooh, he's looking really bad now. Cut artery, ripped ear. He's just going to bleed out whenever he moves next. He's also almost dead. <laughs> Triple attack. None of them are dead, but they're close. There's another head gone. Okay, he's dead. <clears throat> Hope people are thinking about <laughs> attacking me next time. I guess they're not. There's still 10 of them left. Can't really believe that there are so many of them here. And they're gonna make me chase them through the woods. Because they're assholes. Oh, there's another one. Hello, buddy. Mm. Okay, that was a good shot. He, uh, he has a grazed neck. He's probably going to bleed out on his way off the map. Alright. He's dead now. Okay. Got him. Stop him from running away, I guess. <laughs> mm. I hope they just try to run away. That would be my preferred outcome here. Yeah, two heads and one swing is always very satisfying. Yes! <laughs> Very good. Well, I guess that was never gonna happen. 
Problem is that we don't have pathfinding, so we're pretty slow. Well, at least we'll get him. Okay, he should bleed out, I hope. We can just end the turn here. There are three left. One of them is gonna run away. He's, pro he's actually, he might even bleed to death here, that guy. Maybe not. Maybe he can make it off the map. It's <laughs> almost gone. And another head is gone. Nice. We need to up the fatigue on him. Actually, we're going to finish that one guy off. Just because he had the audacity to shoot at us from his cover. Okay, so that happened. Got a bunch of loot. It's not great loot, but I guess it has to do. I'm actually at the point where I would like to sell all this crap. Okay, I guess leveled up. Let's boost his melee skill. Fatigue and... I guess resolve, actually. And we have Sir Apple. Get his skill up. Defense up. Fatigue up. And Horath the Truck Lover. Bring that up. Definitely need fatigue up. And defense. Resolve could be good. Let's do the defense. It's probably better. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about going back to Hermans for a quick. Selling the stuff that we have. Maybe um, apart from the high quality stuff. Game over says, what level does my character have? Nine. Almost ten. Oh yeah, we're gonna wait. Just a little bit. We're gonna get better prices to sell our stuff here than we normally would. Because they have the ambush trade routes, which pushes prices up. Ah, oh, twelve? Damn. Oh, we just sell the cheap crap. Keep the high value stuff, so that later. Mm -hmm. That. This can go. The duelist hat can actually also go. Definitely the shields, daggers, these. And I guess that's about it. Well, that one can go too. Like this, eh? Yeah, much better. Ooh, and they're even offering tools. I will buy those tools. Even though they're a bit pricey. Okay. I gotta get up there. Gotta do it now. Sending us to the other end of the world. I knew I should have just taken another contract against the sand, uh, sun guys. Whoa! I don't really want to engage with them. I'm not being paid nearly enough to do that. I just run away from them in the straight line. They should not be able to catch up with us because they're way more people than we are. And then I think we can lose them just by going through the woods, I think. Return in three days. Screw you, man. I'm doing my best, but three days is a tall order.
Return in two days. Man, this might be this might be too close. Oh no! What the hell? Come on! A night? Really? A night? <laughs> no fancy headgear though. It's a bit of a shame. <laughs> Why are you super fatigued? You shouldn't be. Let them come up. They're only moving tiny steps forward. Not sure why. Maybe they're afraid. That is a bad idea. Putting your squishy second row people into the first row. It's a recipe for disaster. I mean, if they want that, be my guest. We'll try to get that arbalest here, if we can. Switch him in so he can move one up. This guy isn't even wearing a helmet. Son, where's your helmet? Is my hit chance 56. Nice. Okay, we got some kills in. We still have our archers too. Not sure why I can't do that. He just started the battle. Oh no, right! Because I used the Falcon. Evan says the fun thing we'll be getting out of this after the battle. Yeah. I mean, we'll manage. Don't worry. Nice. Crossbowman is gone. Another guy with a bandana. Oh, the obelisk is running away. I mean, sure, he's welcome to. Nice. He has a grazed kidney. Normally not really a condition where you continue to fight, but I guess these guys are just hardcore. Okay, the arbalest is gone. That's great. So only one more threat remains. Way back there. Actually, and this guy. Nice. He's not even gonna shoot. Why not? Injured kneecap. Okay, that's the least of his problems, the injured kneecap. Kinda have a feeling that he really won't be needing his kneecap anymore. Has another Grace Kidney. Damn! Might have not been the best idea to actually move that far up. I want the plate armor from this guy though. I mean, if these guys are bunching up like that... <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> you might as well. Okay, and another one. Wham. And another head is gone. Let's go for the dagger here. If we can dagger him, we get some more valuable loot. And then there's another head gone. And another one. <laughs> Heads are flying left, right, and center. I think we could even... We might be able to take three at the same time. If we really pushed. allow me to go after the arbalester. Did he shoot? No, he didn't. Okay. It's fine then. Glad that he didn't hit with the warhammer, because they shred armor right through. He has a sword that we can use. Okay, George. Hit her. Not managed to hit even once. That is a bit disappointing. Okay, we'll bring Utram up. Can't switch to the dagger though right now. That's a damn shame. And another head is gone. Love the cleaver. It's the best. Was as. I remember you being just as confident about taking orcs at some point, just saying. Not sure I would want to fight against three entire groups with probably at least two knights. Um, the groups, if they have a knight in there, they will actually show that. And the knight and it will have a knight figure. Since they didn't have a knight as their symbol, I highly doubt that they have knights in there. But yeah, I mean, fighting three groups would definitely be really tough. But we can apparently deal pretty easily with just one group. From the looks of it, at least. Okay, the Arbalester is out of here. That's fine. Can live with that. Someone has to hit at some point. We could net him, but... Yes! Finally! Someone got a hit in. Yes! And Pyramus dodged. I like it. Switch to the dagger. Get a really good arm out of this. And this time we don't have to share the loot with the greedy people. He's almost ready to run too. If he had another weapon other than a sword, I would probably not risk this without a net, but as it is, we're fine. Oh, come on! And I did not get either of those. Not the, not the headgear, not the armor. Okay then, sure. Sure, sure. You think we're not oiled up enough for this? Just three companies? It'll be fine. The real difficulty is gonna be getting back in two days.
I love the Noble Wars. I think it's the best event. If I could, like, play with permanent Noble War, I would probably go for it. That's an Arbalester. Doesn't have a helmet, that Arbalester. Should have probably brought one. Profit? Um, no, just because I think it um, makes the world more lively. I know, the poor dog. Yeah, good that these guys miss. Makes me pretty happy. Our own guys are missing too though. Like, a lot. Okay, that one, that one was good. But out of six shots, we hit like one. It's not a good rate. <laughs> Our armor is decently banged up now. But nothing that we couldn't repair. He's gone. Okay, I gotta switch him in, otherwise he won't be able to get in a hit. No, I already did. Okay then. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yes, that's what I want to see. People are actually hitting their shots. Hmm. Not sure I want to fire into these guys. I shan't. He's going for troop rallying. Finally. <laughs> Getting things done now. That's his head gone. Very good. We gotta switch him in. He's still being stubborn. We're almost through. And then we gotta run as fast as we can back to our... Back to the guy that gave us the contract. I mean, maybe we can get that XP on game over. Yeah, doesn't hurt. He's still, he's still holding out. He's like, I can win this. I'm sure I can do it. And he's gone. Very good. 
Got another arbalest. Oh, another heavy crossbow. Head gear, just random stuff. Okay, so now the question: getting out of this in two days. Where did we get the contract? Did we get the contract in that castle? I think so. Destroy any caravans or patrols. I don't think I can realistically do that. Definitely gotta shuffle a couple people out. We do get caught. Levi got hurt quite a bit. I'm bringing Rubicant. Give you more of a neutral color though. I think the blue looks kind of goofy. Oh yeah, we have Uma, who could probably move in for Sir Apple. I guess. Bring him in. I mean, we do have a lot of choice. We can fight all day. So no one who's wounded is now in the front row. I like it. Okay, so now we really get a push. No, no, no. Don't run into their arms. Did we lose him? Is that a thing that we did? I think it... I think it is... Return. I don't know actually if it says if return in two days means return after two days have passed, but I think it would say that if that was the case. So let's say I just tell the game to go the quickest way there. Halbo the Elf reports to you what he's been hearing from some of the locals. They say a large group of soldiers carrying a banner are heading your way. You ask the mercenary to describe the sigil and he does so in great detail. It belongs to House Winterhouse men. They must have caught up to you somehow. The dragon layer should brace itself for a hell of a fight. What? You could do without that. I see him. I see the footsteps. Nope. 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 Not today. I mean, on the other hand, it is going to give us loot. How are we? Health wise. I think we're actually good. Maybe we'll just do it. Make some more inventory space. Oh yeah, well, we definitely gotta give someone the net. Yeah, Bjorn has the net. I think we'll just crush him. See them weep. So Apple is ready though. Um, who's the weakest, weakest link in the front line? I think we'll actually switch up Bjorn. Also Apple. something attack something okay that gives us enough inventory space I think that's all right Silas says when I tried it there only came 11 peeps I guess it's scaling to your to your strength you gotta keep in mind that this isn't the first income crisis that we're fighting it's the second one if you have it as your first then you're probably going to be weaker. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Bring it on. Do your worst. Oh, I, actually, I, I'd prefer if you didn't, but I'll understand in any case. Yeah, he actually does have fancy headgear. Let's see if we can't get it. And every time we fight against them again, 
they will see that we took out one of their knights. If we can make it happen, that would be nice. I want the arbalests to go, to go down. Man, they're in the third row. This is a huge group. That guy has a lot of range defense. <laughs> and he's nimble too. Mitigating all that damage. I don't like it. At least, they, at least they're coming up close. That's good. Bring it. Evan says, what is actually holding us back to get more Battle Brothers? Isn't this like some artificial limitation you hate so much? Hmm. It doesn't feel artificial to me. I mean, yeah, it would be nice if we had like more reserve space, but I can live with 20. 20 is already a lot to manage. Nice, hitting both. That was kind of important. And another double hit. Holy hell, these guys are on point. Mad Badger and Rubicant. Bringing the pain. Both of these guys dodged. Don't like that. <laughs> that worked well, though. I guess what I'll do over here is switch that so that's a rapple can actually get in. Nice! Kill two with one strike. Love it. Okay, 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 okay. I want the Arbalesters dead. The, both Arbalesters are not in range for my shots. Nice. Should learn to wear a headgear. Okay, so both Arbalesters are in range now. Come on, 80% hit chance. Yes! Could have gone better. Rainbow says you once lopped off three heads with one blow. <laughs> I sometimes think about Battle Brothers when I when I see that card in Gwent. Ruby says if I die, I'm gonna come back as a necro savant and hunt you until the end of days. <laughs> Why though? We've been good brothers to you. I mean, sometimes you just willfully run into a group that is almost three times your strength. That's just life. Ow! Ow! Could you not? If they have a critical mass of second row units, it can actually get very nasty. We just gotta kill them faster. <laughs> gotta kill them as fast as possible, really. He's gonna just bleed to death, I think. I hope, I guess.
I don't think I can be fancy and actually take his his armor. I guess I just have to go in for the kill here. Okay, one arbalest is gone. Second one. And he's too far away for the other guys to reach. That sucks. Need to kill that arbalester here. Come on. Nope, not gonna happen apparently. Ruby says because I'm a cultist, and that just seems like something I would do. <laughs> Sounds good. Makes sense. Even cultists are kind of weird. I finally managed to get the Dovku helmet. In my other game. So that's good, I guess. Oh, mean! This footman is actually attacking our archers. I don't like that at all. Good thing is, though, Utram was like, he's almost dead. I'll just have him run away. <laughs> and yeah, he bled out. But not before he did some serious damage. I don't like it. Okay, so... This guy just dodged both of my attacks. like this. But yeah, I still get one more shot. Nice. Okay. That was important. We needed that. This is a dangerous situation. We have to actually switch him out if we can down there. We have a second two-hander guy coming in. No! That two-hander guy is a real problem. Don't die, Rubicant! <laughs> That battle is definitely going to leave us in bad shape. And the knight hasn't even attacked for real. This might have been a mistake. to switch him out here. This is also bad. Standing here getting getting slaughtered by that by that two-hander guy. Finally I got a hit on him. That's something. Ruby, you're just gonna run. Ooh, that was a nice dodge, Evan. You will probably be dead if you hadn't dodged. <sighs> Who needs to die? This guy, kind of. 
Okay, I get it. You're nervous. I'm afraid of this guy, what he's gonna do. Okay, one more dead. I might need Uma to save him. Okay, that was an important dodge, but... Okay, he's he's pinned now. Oh no, oh no. Can't move because he's too fatigued. Some of them are fleeing now. What? That seems kind of OP. Okay, Horoth the drug lover is dead. That happens, I guess. <laughs> well, makes me kind of sad, but what can you do? Losing one guy is okay, we don't have to reload for that, but losing losing a couple can quickly turn into a disaster. And he's just fleeing now that he's done with us. Yes, that's what you get for killing our guys. He's just he's running off. We want revenge. Not gonna get anywhere, bastard. Finally! Engaging that guy alone? It's definitely a problem. Yeah, these guys are just running away. Yeah, Aurith is dead. It's not just struck down. Oh well. So it goes. <sighs> Overconfidence and all that. Oh no! I needed to move him away! I want that two-hander! He needs to for his sins.
we'll get out of this, but it's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. And we still have the knight standing. That is kind of what worries me the most. Guess we have to net him. I'm gonna try to surround him, but at the same time, we're gonna try to have none other killed. Give him a net. Give him the dagger. Bring Uma up. He's so tired that he can only hold his shield up. But... Still a problem. I don't think I can move anyone else into the vicinity of the knight. Well, Horath was kind of a not a huge priority brother, anyways. It might look different, but since he was a swordmaster, he was eventually gonna grow old and get the old trait, which is really not good. But I'm gonna be really mad if I don't get the helmet. Because we actually have been paying for that a lot. Nice, okay. We need the rest of our guys. We need them close enough that they can move in in one turn. And surround him once he starts to flee so he doesn't run away. That's what we need. Damn it. Well, hold up your shield, buddy. He's absolutely exhausted. That's why I'm also not destroying the shield, because this keeps him busy without me hurting. I mean, it would probably be better for him to just yield. Yes, very good. Ow! Okay, he's not holding up his shield, which actually bodes well for the next round. I think I need Georg to self-bandage. Problem is, we're still deep in enemy territory, and we're super beaten up. Let's just hope the loot that we get out of this is worth it. Yeah, he's almost gone. He's out of the net, though. I repeat, the cat is out of the net. So, this is something that has to happen now, I guess. Do you have a net regular special? No. Yuck. No. Rubicant? Yes. Okay. Gonna have the honor of netting that guy again. Yes. Okay. <sighs> With the company for 150 days, took part in 68 battles and has 128 kills. He killed an orc 
Warlord. Damn. That's not good. <laughs> Uma dealt out a thousand damage. That's really good. Seven kills. Really? You killed seven people? Five on Halbor. I mean, lots of kills on all these guys. Puppy says, surprise any of the enemy bands still want to fight you after killing a 28-man strong army. Yeah, they just see us and think they can do it. Come on! Really? I don't get the decorated... What is wrong? What is wrong? Have I done anything bad to the game? Why are you being that way, honey? That's just not right. That makes me unhappy. Um, won't be able to carry much more. I think that'll do. Oh yeah, yeah, we actually have a fair amount of viewers. Damn. <laughs> so the obituary has grown a little bit. H3 plus was actually longer with the company than Horath. We have two spots now for potentially new recruits though, so that's good, I guess. Return in one day. I, I think it's doubtful if we can actually get down there in one day, but we'll do our best, I guess. Nah, I don't think it's actually gonna be a thing. Don't think we can manage. Destroy any caravans or patrols. I did! Okay, yeah, okay. It actually works that way. Paid for five days and that's what you've put in. We should return quickly for payment. Good! I like that, sure. Mm, considering this, considering we have ample tools, I just go on a on a repairing spree here. Well, obviously, we're not going to sell that one. Hey, welcome to the channel, D Bax. The USS and Dominic Cato as a name for a new brother of our company. Yeah, that could be a thing. Sounds good. <laughs> Although I gotta give the naming priority to the people that have, yeah, I mean, I mean we're on a stream, but people that have the highest Patreon rank do get the priority. And that is probably gonna need crap tons of tools. Okay, we're really gonna do something with your fatigue. Maybe your fatigue was actually low because you were wounded. Do this. Yes, yes, very good. Hmm. So what to do? I think you being a little bit sturdier would probably be a good idea. So we'll do that. Uh, now we'll give you the full armor. Yeah, much better. That must have just been a wound. That's why it looked so weird. Okay. Yeah, you still have 81 fatigue left now. Grand. And the perk. Almost the penultimate perk. Not duelist. I think we'll go reach advantage. Mad Badger also got hurt a lot. Need more fatigue here. Yeah, 81 in full armor is is good. Where are we? Uma. 81 in full armor is really good, actually. You can swing your sword a couple of times. 
we really get super fatigued. Mad Badger, still haven't decided if we go for shield and something else. Or two-hander. Let's go to Hermannshof. Yeah, we need 109 tools to repair everything. Let's see, maybe we can buy some here. Yes. Whoa! 500 bucks? I mean, sure, we'll actually, we'll get that. It's all right. So I have plenty of food, so I won't buy anything here with the outrageous prices. Let's move on to Lichtmark. Almost, can almost afford to repair everything. And hopefully the prices in Lichtmark are still good. <laughs> There's some brigands. Are they worth catching? Nah, brigand leader. Badger is the Kapuzenräuber. Full greatsword mastery would fit him well. Killing three in one strike. <laughs> okay, we, we can heal a bunch of our guys. Man, Rubikin got really beat up. That badger has a fractured, ha fractured hand. That's a flagellant. Mm, I mean, we could go for another hunter if we wanted to. Might be a better ranged option than Alice. All things considered, we do have another bow. Right. Yeah, we do have another bow and we could use the crossbow to train for now. I don't know. We'll see what they have on offer in the fortress. Anything to buy? No. Oh, they also don't have ambush trade routes anymore, I don't think. Damn it. So they only give us, what, 17%? I still gotta get... I still have to unload all this stuff here. So we'll do it. Keep that one. That one's actually fairly nice, the scale armor. So that one... Should still get a lot of money for this one. That one provides 240, that one provides 260, but that one only takes 28 fatigue and that one takes 42, so I think it's kind of clear what we take. This one takes 30. That's a lot. Oh yeah, that's a 250 helmet though, so try to keep that one. It means the, can, these can go. It's a damn shame not to use those named shields. Then again, shields. Sell all the pikes. Sell the cheap crossbows. I think this is stuff that we want to keep. Yeah, looks good. And then we buy the tools that they have. Looking good. Whoa! <laughs> These guys just appeared out of nothing. Are we ready to take them? Nah. Well, actually, we are. We can just sell everything that we get from them right away. Better, yeah, we could try to get some experience on Gorum Mall here, if we wanted to. Put the wounded over. Um, oh yeah, and XCOM is also wounded. That's fatigue. That is kind of, we can live with that. We can live with the reduced fatigue. Save it. Yogi Guru says it's not going to be worth fixing the maces and hammers at 500 for tools. Eh. I was I was counting on being able to sell them for 19% over here, which is kind of not a thing.
Yeah, it's still daytime. That's good for us. We have a lot of ranged options. Mercenary. Oh, we're fighting alongside another mercenary band. That is pretty cool. Because I guess that we're here. Pretty sure they're going to come after us. I'll just wait and let the other mercenary band also do the work. <laughs> Ooh, throwing axes. These guys are wild. Fun. Fought against them a couple of times. Not really ever alongside them. Oh, that's that guy. Oh, we're low on ammunition? Thanks, Preston. I did not see that. Didn't want to run out. Just wait. Let them come up. Don't want to waste my moves. <laughs> Could try to engage that archer in the back. One or two. Yes, hats flying left, right, and center. Love it. Those are not our dogs, though. Hey, welcome to the channel, Nebux. Is there a good sword on one of these guys? That one is. Just, he's just using an arming sword. It's a tier 2 sword. No, tier 3, actually. Well, it depends if you count the Felchin or not. Okay, thanks for hanging out, game over. See you, man. I'll try to snipe their archers with our archers. They actually do have a two-handed dude as well. Up here, he's not doing anything, but he's there. I mean, fighting alongside another mercenary band is definitely helping. Should be an easy battle. Get some easy additional money. Nice. That was a good hit. That wasn't. Still low on armor. I'm actually not super mad that he kicked him away. We need some time to repair. Just have to move Sir Apple first. Act in 10 turns. We're just gonna pause the Golden Mall here. Or this guy could take our place. Sure. Now that we've done the work, he comes in. Go away. Rotation skill is invaluable. If only we would hit, that would be nice. Yeah, like that. Costs a lot of fatigue. But it 
It's definitely worth it. I kind of feel like you can see what's going on a little bit easier if you don't have that up. Never quite sure. Sometimes I want it up, sometimes I want it down. But those huge battles, they get kind of crowded if you have this on. Because it's only bars. Nice. Got that crossbow guy. Got that back row guy. Guess we'll try to take out their standard bearer. Which almost seems to work. <laughs> yeah. And the mercenary companies are using the nets too. There must be an archer somewhere around here. Okay, there was an archer over here. Emphasis on was. He you know says I hate looking at them all the time. Yeah. It's just a. I did a poll on stream at some point, and there were people who were like, leave it on. I'll just try to use my my judgment here. Turn it on if I think there's something to see. Aven says, would be cool if you could start a town or castle, like in Mountain Blade. I know this is about the mercenary stuff, but the transition in Mountain Blade is cool. But I never played that game on stream. There are also some cool mods to add orcs in and stuff. I've played... Oh, holy hell. I played... <laughs> crazy amounts of hours in Mountain Blade Warband. And also in the normal Mountain Blade, both the Steam version and the off-Steam version. I love the game, but I maybe I've, I've played a little bit too much. I'm I'm ready for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. I, I really am. If they release it right now, I'm I'd be all over it. I have more hours in Mountain Blade than Stellaris. And that's only the hours that have been logged on Steam. I used to play the, the non-Steam version. And then at some point I bought it on Steam. says that they will never come my friend I don't know I mean I saw the death diary I'm actually kind of happy that they're taking their time it's their game and they want to make it as good as possible still gotta keep in mind that they're not a, a huge studio so they got to make the most of their resources I think you can make a project good in two ways either you throw t um, time at it or money and I think they have more time than money really that's how I look at it, at least. I mean, sure, I want the game too, but... I even says it would rather be a functioning fusion wreck on Earth than the release of this game. <laughs> Maybe, but is it gonna be a fusion reactor that's gonna cause a second Chernobyl? I'm, I'm okay with them taking that time. At least with the rational mind. On the other hand, I want it now, but I mean, what am I gonna do about it? If I go to Gamescom, I'll try to get like an appointment. Maybe I can play a version. That's your process. The current state is fine, isn't it? I haven't played anything, so I really wouldn't be in a position to say. There have been games that look good and then weren't. Like, as, did you see the the recent Dev Diary that they posted? Um, was about city interaction, and if you remember, the 
the amount of menus that you have to go through in Mountain Blade Warband until you get anything done in the cities. And that development uh, diary was about how they streamlined that. And that's a really good thing. It's probably not going to bother you in the first 50 or 100 hours, but at some point it's really going to bother you if you have to do the same crap every time. I think that's good. I mean, you could say that they should maybe apply that kind of polish after they've released it, but I mean... As long as it does get applied, I'm fine. Okay, he's gone. Damn, I won't be able to hit him if I do that, but that's okay, I guess. And he's gone. <laughs> uh, we don't get a huge amount of loot, but it's better than nothing. says the game will to a large degree be judged by what and how it is or will be at release because that is when most people play it or most people waiting for it play it yeah i understand them wanting to make this as good as possible <clears throat> not sure why people are pushing so hard for that release i get that you want to play it but if you just get a balked version I will say if a game is uncomfortable or buggy at release, it will always be remembered like that. To a degree. I think there is a way to claw back um, to improve on a game. But it's definitely harder, I think. You want me to buy the die? Nah. It's, it's pretty expensive over here. I have no place where I can sell it. Guys have disappearing villages, but we'll buy the tools. Amber shards are also expensive. We will probably need to do some contracts for them. A fire round. Get over the fact that Horath, the drug lover, is dead. I think it's more the the effect that it has on outsiders. I, for example, never played Rome Total War 2 because it looked fishy to me from the outside and then it turned out to be a huge bug fest it might have been improved in the meantime but I have no idea yay a guard leads you to Baron Roderick von Krieger who's behind a locked door. There's a woman in there with him and he seems to be in a bit of a celebratory mood. The guard knocks on the door, then thinks better of it. I was supposed to tell him you were here, but he doesn't like to be interrupted. Not during times like this. You know, good times. You nod and ask where your pay is. The guard leads you to the treasury. You meet a hawk-faced man sitting behind towers of papers and coins. He pushes a satchel of 2,710 crowns your way before noting the exchange on a scroll. Hey, welcome to the channel, G-Man. The G-Man? Star Trek New Horizons G-Man? Yay, more tools! Beautiful! It's only 80, so we won't get over the max. That's good. We managed to get up to 32,000. We're actually making really nice amounts of cash now. No contract here, though. That sucks a bit. Okay. I, people were saying squires are a really good background. I think we might actually go for a squire here. A 
G-Man says. Just some random dick name, G-Man. Okay, well, welcome in any case to the stream. I know another G-Man who is a developer on the Star Trek New Horizons mod. I also have Svein the Exiled. Disown Noble. Militia. These can be good, retired soldiers, but they will also get older, so might not be a thing. Check for clubfoots first. <laughs> how, how would we do that, though? I can't. I'll take him. See how he does. Okay. Are you hop or top? Eh, he's fearless. That's not bad. But all in all, no, all in all, he's actually pretty bad. Damn. Damn. <laughs> okay, well, we took a risk. It's fine. I mean, he, the problem is he starts so low at range that even if he gets godlike rolls every time, it won't be anything other than. Other than a mediocre crossbow man, maybe. Check for hernia first, turn your head and cough. <laughs> no luck. No luck. Well, this is fine, we'll deal with it. Actually, there's no reason for us to lug that quality wood around with us anymore. Oh yeah, ammunition. Right, we don't want to run out of ammunition. Yeah, yeah, I got the equipment and I sold it again. That was a waste of a couple of thousand, but sure. Um, save it here. I would like to do one more contract. I'm gonna wait until the thing resets, which should be noon next day. Sacrifice him to the gods. <laughs> I would if I could, but I don't think there's a way for me to do it. Okay, come on, switch over. Give me a contract here. Yes, okay, we got one. Buy some food. <sighs> Let's see if they actually have something nice for us to buy. Nope. Nope. Sure. What does he have? Needed to patrol the territories, to go out home and then to Lichtmark. Kill anything or anyone that thinks the rope belongs to them. I mean... 70 crowns per head, up to 25 heads, so that will give me, what, 1400? The thing is, I have to go back in any case. I want a bit more money. Do that, I guess. Hey, Acetat. Atrio is still dead. And we also lost Horath, the drug lover. That happened. For reasons I don't want to go get into. Noble was still dragging on. I'm actually kind of tempted to go after this, the Temple of the Undying. We might find something nice in there. Hmm... Bring Rubicant to 30 to 40. We we'll probably need our standard barrel in that one though. Do something like this, I guess. You're heartbroken? 
Oh, there are some goblin raiders. Hello! Goblin ambushes, skirmishes, wolf riders. Ugh. Eh, it's not that bad that he died. Yeah, we went up against the 28... 28 unit of nobles. And he got caught by a, a two-hander guy. And I couldn't get him out in time. Not sure if it was glorious, but we did win. And then did not get the headgear. Yeah, it's very difficult to hit these guys in with a ranged attack. <laughs> Okay. We'll just let them come up. Not really interested in moving towards them. We have enough ranged firepower that we can take them out if we need to. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna hang back. They attacked me though. Poyas Poyas says, did he die during sodomy? Didn't look like it. Definitely looked like he was fighting on the battlefield. If we had time for that. That would have been strange indeed. Okay, we'll just we'll just hold on. Play it safe. Rubicant again. Really not happy about that. Maybe your range defense is kind of low. I have to check that. Let's have a look. Where are you? Oh yeah, your range defense is only four. That's not good. We need to patch that up. Almost at the next veteran level, so we'll try to make something happen in that regard. Reload. Still nothing. They're just not coming. We'll just kill them until they run away, then. I mean, we're being paid per head, but... I'm not about to charge into them. Because my guys are all slow and not very maneuverable. They'd kick our butts if I'd moved up. Okay. Silas says, when the noble quest says follow the footprints and approach the deserters, but they don't spawn any footprints, make sure that you have the tracks activated. Poyas Poyas says, how much is Battle Brothers? It's the last day of Steam sale. Do I have any recommendations? I mean, Battle Brothers is good. Almost all of the Paradox games uh, have been reduced too. I think the Steam sale is over, yeah. hit chances on these guys. Nice, got another one. This might look cowardly, but that's how we do it. Fighting against goblins is no joke. If I had a couple of light duelists, things would look different, but as it is... I'd rather just finish him with our superior archery power.
<laughs> Rubicon is also poisoned by these guys. That's kind of nasty. There's no Horath the second for now. Not sure if I'm going to make one. As the tower says, they're just gobbles. <laughs> That's what people say, and then they then they die to the gobbles. Nice. Okay, we've got a stray hit in. We'll just wait. Oh, there, that guy rallied. Problem is, we'll get netted, and it's all gonna turn to shit. I have only one archer guy in here. That's a bit unfortunate. I will have to pull Rubikind out of this. Probably with the next move. Bring the nets then. I won't let Rubicant die. And your plus says, don't anger the Elder God, or else he may make you play COD. <laughs> I will put up the Dream Daddy episode during this weekend, ideally tomorrow or the day after. Guys up. Well, no, he's not out of range. Sure. With one netted person. As soon as we manage to get up, though, it's gonna look real bad. Bring him up. Wham. Okay, I take that one. Ow. Shouldn't have taken that one. Stay here. Try to get these, even though we're approaching. Even though we're fighting uphill over here. It's not great. That's your process. Did your wife see the game? Um, I, I lent her, I um, borrowed her copy. Says, how do you find the time to stream so much? You're streaming Robot God? Uh, there are people that stream way more than I do. I stream three times a week. For three and a half hours. There are people that stream every day. Okay, that's going to be the last missile barrage. All these guys are just going to run away. Maybe. Could be a thing. <laughs> yeah, well, once it's our turn, there's going to be a world of pain for these goblins. Nice. Yes, got that one. Oh, I get a second shot. I'd rather not shoot my own guys in the back. 
problem is that these guys have footwork, so you can't even stall them by getting close to them. It's a bit annoying. He's gone. One of these is already fleeing. One, two. This, the nice thing about this is it gives us a lot of heads. Yeah, they're using footwork to get away. Should not be enough though. Yeah, and they have the dagger with the with the puncture thing, so they got a a wound on regular special, just like that. Very annoying. There's another one of these buggers. Damn it! If he gets another puncture in, that might become real dangerous. says never use patreon how does it work well it is basically a crowdfunding thing like kickstarter but where the kickstarter campaign ends if you reach the goal like let's say fund game x a patreon campaign never ends it's ongoing so you pledge a certain monthly amount and that supports me then and you get certain rewards mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do we want to fight this out yeah, I think so, actually. Because we're being paid for the heads. So might as well try to get as many heads as possible. And just try to do it with these guys. Okay, he's gone. Uh, I'm not gonna follow the other one, it's over. <laughs> Yeah, we get goblin poison. <laughs> Usable in combat. Can be used to coat your weapons and arrow tips. I would have liked that more if it was not an active thing, but instead of a uh, instead of passive. Where every shot of your arrow, uh, of your bow and arrow is poisoned. Hmm. Game over. Almost max level. Yeah, the... The rolls have decreased a little bit, but still good. Still really good. I take it. You could have also been a decent archer. It's a damn shame that I can't reskill. What to do? I think we can give you Pathfinder as well. A bunch of our guys are really hurt. So bring someone else up. Oh, which one also leveled up. Hello, buddy. Okay, take that. Hmm. I mean, the defenses are nice. We don't need that much range defense. I think I gotta push the fatigue. <sighs> Go reach advantage. Make him a little bit tankier. Uh, 82 is is very decent for a two-hander guy, and he's not at, at the end yet. Gaurim also says, the leveling system in this game is kind of wonky, especially with random level upsets. They're not random, though. They're like, I mean, they are random, but they get rolled whenever a character gets created, so you can't really re-roll those. You cannot save scum. 
Poppy says. What's the best you can get on a roll? Highest I've seen is a five. I think hedge knights and cell souls can get higher rolls. I think they can get sixes on some of those, but yeah, I think five is the highest normally. There is a there's a character editor actually if you like a hex editor where you can edit your guys if you really want to. We'll make Mad Badger a two-hander guy as well. Why not? Why the hell not? Okay, we've got a patrol to Grotenholm. I think we'll only go for this for this Temple of the Undying if we still need heads at the end of this. I'd rather fight more in the Noble War than waste my power on these. These will not run away. What? I mean, sure. Ambush me on the street, why don't you? Damn it, we're missing one of our archers. They're still charging us, though. Sure. Come at me, then. Poppy says, is it worth buying legend characters if you have the funds? Would the dent in your purse be better? Just spend on equipment on your current marks? Mm, what do you mean legend characters? I mean, they all are kind of randomized. I think it's worth it. It's one of the most difficult things in the game to actually know what you should spend your money on and what you shouldn't. You can loot almost any weapon. I think it's worth it to spend money on unique gear, like named weapons and stuff. Wait with him. Characters that come with named equipment and weapons, if such a thing exists. N uh, they, they don't exist. Like, there are unique weapons that are better than normal ones. Oh, that's the Hedge Knight. Yeah, has a scale armor. I wouldn't say no to that. Does Sir Apple have a net? He doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna be weary. Although he has a sword, he's probably not gonna put out a lot of damage. You might put out some. Does Levi have a net? No. Damn. No one has a net. Gotta rebuy nets, I guess. Guess we can switch to the dagger already. Okay, so now the archers die. Or not. But at least they don't hit. Our guys also don't hit. Damn. Poppy says, should call you next band Mercs of the Fisherman. I mean, I think it's a pretty innovative thing. I've been, I'm almost through with the uh, Black Company books, which is a book series about a mercenary company in a, like a fantasy world. What? Oh, right. I guess I gave him the heavy crossbow to save inventory space. Really shouldn't do that. <laughs> or at least should not forget about it. Damn. Okay, let's go to the dagger. Still has an impressive amount of fatigue here.
And yeah, in, in the in the Black Company series, the company is always extolled as being tricky. Using dirty tricks and mind games instead of just going in there and fight, because they're not being paid to die for the glory, they're being paid to actually get results. He's already wavering. How can you already be wavering, man? Okay, look. Also, doesn't have a net. Disappointing. Peter, do you have a net? No, you have a morning star in your inventory. Sure. Great. Uma? Yay, Uma has a net. Can't use it right now, but he has one. These archers should really run now. up a little bit. Yes, nice. <laughs> okay, that guy is dead. I like seeing archers die. And especially killing them with my own archers. That's the best. We'll try to surround him. Forgot about you. Okay, he's going for the parry, so he's gonna. Whenever we don't hit, he's gonna whack our guys. Well, that's fine. We have heavy enough armor that we don't really have to care about it too much. And he's fleeing. Sure. He's completely surrounded now. That is fine. We don't need the net. We'll save the net for a situation where it's more needed. Just fleeing. Okay. All right. Stabby, stabby. And he's gone. And that guy's gone too. <laughs> Even killing people left, right, and center. Yeah, we still have two left. I'm not gonna chase after the other guy, I don't think. That's how it's done. Yes! <laughs> okay, we can just end. The other guy is gonna flee. Yeah, it's over. Poppy says, I hate bandit marksmen. They're a pain in the ass if you have to fight them early on. Yeah, they are pretty bad once you once you have the better armor you can kind of laugh about them but they remain a threat well into the mid game <laughs> right so we have a coat of scales that makes me pretty happy. Damn, Horath, Horath was uh, wearing a coat of scales and I guess that got destroyed when he went down. That's not good. I think we kind of have to give Rubicon that coat of scales. Actually, no, he's doing fine with the, well. He has this one, the heavy lamella armor. Utram is not really surviving all that well. So maybe we give him the Codal Scales for now. These two also need something better. Actually, they need something better right now. Did... Really? We have we have better stuff in the inventory too. Like why am I not doing that? 
Oh yeah, and I also have to pull stuff out of the inventory of these guys. It reduces their fatigue. Okay, that's much better. Let's reshuffle. Uh, we already have the heads that we need, so we'll try to avoid any fights that we get in. Okay, Grotenholm now has safe roads. Does that mean we can... Well, it's still incredibly expensive. I feel like I should rebuy some nets, although I still have nets in the inventory. Come to think of it, I think most people need a net. It's really useful, especially for what we do. We're almost at the point where we don't need to cut them out of their armors anymore. Once all our two-hander guys have coat of scales or coat of plates, will be fine but for now we still need him buy a unit of ammunition move to Lichtmark yeah Bose the um, boys boys wants to know the difference between bows and crossbows crossbows are easier to shoot in the game as in real life so it takes not as long to make a proficient crossbow shooter. Okay. I think I'll just try to sell most stuff. Even without necessarily repairing it fully. I think that's still fine. Lugging it around also has an opportunity cost. Uh, we don't really get the tools very easily. Okay, this looks good. Oh yeah, we can sell the the goblin poison. We don't need it. Food is still fine, I guess. We'll have regular specials wound treated. Regular special started out as a fisherman, and now he's kicking ass with the hammer. I'll play around. And then we go back, get our money. I hope I get another... No, it's almost over, damn it. De Barden, welcome to the channel. Uh, probably not gonna be any more DLCs, Poppy. They wanna develop another game. Okay, this is interesting. Brigands and these guys. We didn't really get a lot out of this noble war. It's almost through. I hope we can get at least one more contract. The good thing is the other noble houses are gonna like us again. But yeah, no fancy headgear out of this whatsoever. That sucks. Okay. Nope. No contract. Damn it. Nothing over here to buy. I'll buy some food. No one good. Sure. Just leave it. Maybe we can get one more contract in. It would be kind of nice. We've been spending a lot of time just running back and forth. Silas says, type of army I find most fun to fight is Nachtseelers. Really? I mean, they they can be they can be pretty difficult, but once you get how you have to play against them, they they're pretty easy, right? You just kill them, 
one by one and try to move up in a way that they can't eat the corpses. Hey, there's a three skull contract. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, there's another raiding contract. I like that. Um, so we gotta raid House Winterhouse territories for at least five days. Of course, if they catch you, expect them to treat you like a bug and squash you like one too. So keep clear of the boots on the ground, you know, like a bug would. I need someone to be the devilish insect in my enemy's garden. <laughs> okay, that'll cost you 6,000 crowns. One more. I'll take it. It's actually going to be good. The Noble War won't end before we are done with this. But yeah, I'll take the 6,000 crowns. This will allow us to go for one more big push. Get some additional money out of this. Would be kind of nice if we could end the Noble War with like, let's say, 40 to 50,000. And then we can go for one last run around in the wilderness. And then it might be time to either start an Iron Man campaign. Or maybe move on to Darkest Dungeon or something for a while. Probably says, who would you say is the hardest enemy to fight? Orcs, goblins, humans, undead. Orcs, I would say. They're really dangerous. Unless you have a full army of two-handed hammer guys, then you then you can get through it decently well. But other than that, orcs are gonna be a real difficulty. Okay, so it was Dragon Layers Stream 16. Almost through the Noble War. One last one last thing to do. We'll do that tomorrow. And then we see what we can do in terms of laying a dragon and bringing the series to an end. I think we've been playing that for a huge amount of hours. <laughs> okay, you gotta do the thing. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. Especially since uh, there was a football game on and all that. So, yeah. Appreciate you showing up. Thanks to Kato for the cheering. Not sure if he is streaming right now. He'll be hosted on the channel after this, I guess. Welcome to the new followers. Debarden, G-Man... Nebux, Dbax, Jester for Columbus, Yogi Guru Gaming, and Tony Toe Tops. And thanks to the mods for modding. See you guys tomorrow, same time. Have fun. Bye bye.